Hello and welcome back. This is Ashol Rafi and in today's video, I am very excited to share the full information about the very first data entry job which I have completed on Fiverr as a freelancer. And I'm going to share the full details like what was the budget, what are the attachment client has provided to me and then how I have worked on the tasks to complete it. So here, if you just notice, this was my very first data entry job which I have completed on Fiverr. It started on March 12, 2017 and I delivered the project on March 13, 2017. So if I open this project details, or actually if I open this project in a new tab, I am going to be able to show you more details. So as you can see here, the project budget was five US dollars where I earned only four US dollars after the fiber fee. And if I take you a little down, then you are going to find this option order requirements. If I click here, then here we go. These are the attachments client has provided to me. So now let me download these files to show you what was these files actually. So I'm going to download them. and here we go so i have downloaded three of these files now if i just open these files i'm going to open all of them and just take a look this was the pdf files which client has provided to me just take a look dot pdf dot pdf let me show you this is so this here we go here we have got one page here we have got another page and in this file we have got three pages as you can see three pages with numbers and other information so in total i had to complete like i had to type out five pages to earn four us dollars where the actual budget was five us dollars now if you are curious and if you want to learn how i have completed the project i would love to show you by working on one project so let me actually work on one file so let me uh, omit this from here and I'd love to show you by working on this project so where we have got some bold text we have got some bullet points and then we have got these small uh, characters and small line actually and then we have got this bottom uh, section of the page where these texts are just touching the bottom part of our whole document or actually the, actually the whole page so without further ado first let me open microsoft word then i'm going to show you how i have completed the work so let's click on this blank document and now it's time to click on this minimize bar so let's click here so that we can drag through here so that it will just been splitted so that it will take half of the window so that we'll be able to see if i click here now just take a look we have got here our browser has taken half of the computer window and half uh, our microsoft word document has taken half of the computer window so now i'll be able to see both of the documents i'll be able to see our original file from here so that i'll be able to start typing so now it's time to start typing and i'm going to speed up the type typing process when there is nothing to learn from but i will get back and i'll pause actually explain the things whenever there is something to show you or something to teach you which i believe you'll, you'll find helpful so let me start typing out so what i basically have to do here what are uh, whatever information available on this page i have to type them right here on this microsoft word document so we can also transfer these files or to transfer these tags and whole information by using pdf converters but sometimes there are some difficulties complexities with uh, pdf converters and some client prefers to have their work done manually so this is what i uh, what the project was so i'd love to type them out so let's start typing here sharing gallop student pool results and here this is in normal text format but if you just notice here we have got uh, we have got bold text format here so we just have to select the text and then click on this bold or v uh, icon here so that the text will be bold now if we hit enter from our keyboard it is going to be uh, in a new line our cursor is going to be in, in a new line now if whatever we type here it is going to get this bold formatting as well because in the previous line we have selected the bold so now what we have to do we have to select the line or actually delete this line and after 
being here we have to click here again on the b button so now it's deselected so it's in normal mode whatever information we are going to type here are going to be normal so let me type out g a double l u sorry double l u p and now what i'm going to do i'm going to speed up the writing until this part and after that i'm going to start uh, explaining explaining the things for these bullet points so let me speed it up all right so here i have typed out the first pharaoh and if you just notice here i have made a mistake what i'm going to do i'm going to click here on the right button of the mouse and then let's select the correct one from here so we have completed entering the first paragraph it's time to select or get a bullet point and to get a bullet point we have to hit enter and after that if you just notice here we are seeing bullet point number points and other um, other formats here so we need this bullet point so what we have to do we have to simply click here on the bullets and then we are going to get the bullet point and now it's time to type out whatever written here so i'm going to fast forward uh, this part as well Alright, so we have just completed writing these bulleted points. It's time to continue writing these parts. So I'm going to type this information in fast forward mode again. Now it's time to make this text bold again. And after that, let's hit enter. Then we have to click here on the bold again to deselect it so that we'll have the normal uh, format here. So we are going to type out. All right, so here we have entered all the information from the first part and now it's time to add this information. So one thing to mention, some clients are not going to ask you to type out this information or enter this information, but some clients actually going to ask you. So let me show you how you can type out, add these symbols and how you can get this uh, text at the bottom of your page so let's move on i'm going to hit some enters to get some spaces after that i'm going to type out copyright right and then we are seeing a um, copyright symbol but before that let me type out this tax gallop ink reserved all right so let's take the next line we are going to take saya tech sorry ink and after that we have to hit tab in our keyboard and then let's type out appendix G then a tab then page five six seven so that's it now let me show you how we can do these formattings these formattings okay so now it's time to hit or uh, actually click on this maximize and after that we have to uh, decrease the size of these contents so here we go now we have to take this one sciatic ink we need some spaces let me take you back here yes yeah, so we need some spaces here so let's give the space and now you are seeing like these texts are getting started from another page but it should be in one page so let me show you how you can set the page layout so that it will be fully formatted and fully usable by your client so let's go to this layout section and after that let's click on margin and then click on custom margins now you'll be able to select whatever margin size these are in inches so you'll be able to select for example it's selected to top one inch left one inch and then we have got bottom right one inch each so that means we are seeing as you can see from the left side after one inch we are seeing the content on the right side after one inch we are seeing the content same here we are going to get one inch from the top and after that we will our text will be appeared so same here so in this case we are going to decrease the bottom 
sizings here so you're going to type out let's say 0 0.05 only and now if i just click on ok just take a look it's already been um, updated now let's give here a space few space actually and now if i just hit enter 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 just take a look we have got the exact formatting as it is in our current or actually the actual document here so now i am seeing like these tags are also in bold text or maybe in another uh, font but we are going to use bold as of now so let's go for it and if there is any other um, let's say any other let me uh, any other font client is going to tell you like use this font in this place okay so that was it guys so this was the process how i have entered the all the information for all of these three documents and i have completed this in less than let's say three to five hours and i earned five us dollars as a beginner on fiber so this is how you have to get started on freelancing you have to start with maybe small projects sometimes but as the days will pass by as you will gain more experience as you will discover many other options many other features to make more money then you'll be able to make in one hour you'll be able to make more than 10 us dollars more than 15 us dollars as i did so i believe you enjoyed my very first data entry project example I actually enjoyed my very first data entry project which was actual and you were able to learn some new skills and get got some knowledge so before that i actually missed this part copyright and we have to add the symbol so here after putting your put your cursor here mouse cursor here and then go to insert and then go to symbol and here we go whatever symbol you want you can add from here okay so let's give a space and now our work is completely done all right so that was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful informative and if you enjoyed this video if you were able to learn something new from this video regarding freelancing data entry then please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and please don't forget to let me know your opinion by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future i have to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching